Good morning from sunny Warsaw. I'm about to leave this city and continue the journey. Right behind me is the Warsaw Central train station from where the Polish adventures will continue. It's time to head south to Poland's second largest city and apparently one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, they say, a city called Krakow. So let's check it out. So, here's the ticket booth. Look at how crowded this is. Oh my god. Oh my. This is gonna take ages. Let's look at the boards. Which train am I gonna take? After nearly an hour, I finally got my ticket to get down to Krakow. And as the next train is leaving in literally one minute, I've decided to take the one in an hour from now so that I can still have some food before jumping on that train and buy some supplies, like some water maybe. And yeah, so we'll have one final hour here in Warsaw looking for some food. So guys, got myself two sandwiches here, a tuna sandwich and a chicken wrap for a combined price of like 540 euros, 550 euros, so six dollars, which I think is quite reasonable considering that we're here at the train station. So I'm going to tuck in now and then it's about time to jump on the train to Krakow. It's time for me now to leave Warsaw and hop on the train to Krakow. Bye bye Warsaw. See you again in the future. Maybe. Right then, platform three. Quite a cool train station if you ask me. Looks more like a like an underground station than a train station. And there's all train. Krakow Glovny. It's not first class, mind you. And look at it. Big enough to fit the laptop on. And do some editing on the right. Check out the train's toilets. Oh, fancy. Crack off the city we're about to approach, unlike Warsaw, was not destroyed by the Nazis. It was spared from destruction. But many other horrific things happened there during the Second World War. The city is very close to many of the infamous concentration camps. The old town of Krakow apparently also houses one of the oldest sites that was ever recognized by UNESCO as a world heritage, a castle.
now less than an hour away from our destination, Krakow. And as we approach in Krakow, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. Look at it. It's pissing outside. Back in Warsaw, it was flipping hot. It was so humid, it was like 36 degrees. And I couldn't stop sweating in Warsaw. But now as we are approaching, as we are going down to the south of Poland, it is pissing down. Look at it. It's awful. Let's hope that back in Krakow, when we arrived there, it would have stopped raining. in Krakow. Welcome to beautiful, rainy Krakow. Look at this. Disgusting. Guys, as you can see, I've been greeted here in southern Poland, in Krakow, by a tropical thunderstorm. Look at this. Looks like Scotland, isn't it? So, my initial plan was to arrive here and then show you guys the city whilst walking to my hostel, which I've booked. But I figured out with this weather, I'm a bit wary due to my camera because my camera ain't waterproof so I guess I'm gonna end the video right here it was about the train journey and in regards to the train journey it was a 10 out of 10 I mean it was comfy seats good lag room you had you had two blocks actually you could charge your phone and your laptop at the same time and you had a big enough desk to work while during the journey and actually during the journey I was editing and I even had a rest a nap for an hour so it was a decent journey but yeah I've been greeted by a thunderstorm look at it southern Poland for you guys tropical southern Poland well I'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> 